Hello world, my name is Perez Hilton. I am a father of three. I've spoken out before about my journey to fatherhood in interviews, but I've never made a video about it. And I thought now would be a great time, especially as the father of a four and a half week old baby. I felt this urge, this need really to advocate for surrogacy, which was the way that I was able to have my own children. There is still so much stigma attached to surrogacy. A lot of it has to do with just um, not knowing a lot about it. And a lot of it also has to do with religion. Uh, there's a lot of judgmental people out there, but it is an ultimate gift. And it's something that is not legal in every state. There are still many states that prohibit surrogacy in America. Uh, and there's still many people that frown upon it. Oh, if God wanted you to have a baby, you would. Or um, that's just weird. What's weird about it? Consenting adults wanting to help other people, that seems awesome and beautiful to me. And I really hope that as the years go on, more and more states allow surrogacy and it can become something nationwide. Why wouldn't we um, want to help families grow. I thought America was supposed to be all about families. And at the end of the day, even though my family may look different from yours, it's really the same and rooted in the most important thing, love. You know, adoption is an amazing, beautiful, wonderful thing. And adoption is also a very complicated process that can take years to achieve. And I may be open to that in the future. I don't know. I also believe that you shouldn't judge me for my want and need to have my own children biologically. All three of my kids are full brother and sister 100%. They had the same anonymous egg donor and my sperm. I don't think that um, heterosexual couples would um, get asked, oh, why aren't you adopting when they tell friends and family that they want to have a child. So why should it be assumed that I'm going to adopt it? That's the thing that I should do. For me, I think it was especially important to have my own biological children because, well, A, I'm Latino. Latino. I said the English language way. I'm Cuban. Soy Cubano. Soy Latino. And I think that Latinos, they just have this need to have children, to procreate. And I think especially for me, because my dad died when I was just 14 years old, on a conscious and subconscious level, having children was a way for me to not just honor his legacy, but literally keep him alive. They share the same DNA and blood and genes as my dad does. My son has his name. The process for me, um, was made easier uh, because I signed up for help through a surrogacy agency. It was not cheap. Oh my God. That's one of the reasons why I am the cheapest person I know now because, you know, a lot of my money had to go to have children. Um, I, I don't usually like talking about money, um, but I will. Uh, for me, each child costs approximately $200,000. Uh, I think there are some agencies out there that don't cost as much as the one that I used, but thankfully they um, helped with everything. And there are a lot of uh, uncertainties. There are um, different laws in each state. You know, this state that does allow surrogacy and that state and it's a complicated process and thankfully my surrogacy agency also had their own in-house legal department and a lawyer that took care of everything. And the laws and the process is constantly changing. I mean, I remember for my son, when he was born in 2013, I had to have an independent auditor interview me and show up at my house to determine that I was a fit and good parent and that my biological son should be handed to me after he was born. And on top of that, I had to show up in court and petition my case in person to the judge. 
thankfully, uh, that process was uh, eliminated for my daughter and my second daughter, now Maite. I like to pronounce her name as, pos as often as possible so that people eventually uh, know how to pronounce Maite. Maite. Um, yeah, I found that a bit odd that I had to show up in court and tell a judge, my son should be given to me. Heterosexual couples don't have to do that. Uh, you know, each time I used a different surrogate with each of my children, same anonymous egg donor, my sperm. Oftentimes I get asked, well, why or how did you pick your egg donor? It's simple. It's a lot like dating or finding a husband or wife. When you find the one you know. My, uh, egg, uh, my surrogacy agency had a VIP egg donor list, which costs more money. And I didn't choose mine from that. That VIP egg donor list is a bunch of former beauty queens. Nothing wrong with that, but I don't know. They just didn't speak to me. I wanted more than just this Barbie doll. I ended up uh, choosing somebody from the uh, regular donor list. And the reason that I resonated with her was because she seemed so nice. And when my kids are older and they start to ask more detailed and specific questions, I want to honestly, from the bottom of my heart, be able to tell them that that was the answer. You know, my son already has asked about the mom situation and I've explained it like this. I am your mom and I'm your dad and your grandmother lives with you and that's unusual. Not every family is lucky enough to have their grandmother live with them. Your family is different and different is awesome and every family is different out there. And I'm sure there'll come a point when he'll ask me about it again and I will answer in a more appropriate um for the age uh, manner. But the woman was so nice and I ended up then doing an anonymous Skype with her. My sister, uh, she asked a bunch of questions and it was her voice and I was able to really see her speak in an unedited way because the video that I saw originally was edited. And you know, anybody could be made to come across as um, appealing in an edited video. But I wanted to see how she was spontaneously and she answered all of my questions that I had beautifully right. And that was then verified by everybody that met her at the surrogacy agency again and that met her at the fertility clinic. They would always tell me, oh, she is the loveliest. She's so lovely. And I'm so thankful that I pursued this path. You know, I always knew I wanted to have children. For me, it wasn't a question of if, it was more a question of when. And that when was a point when I was comfortable with my career suffering as a result of me having children. Thankfully, I've still been able to work and do amazing and beautiful things and I've been acting and I was on the Food Network this year and I've been making a lot of videos because people are loving them and you got to keep evolving and changing and doing different things, reinventing like Madonna and Joan Rivers did. Um, but I always knew, um, I, I remember um, when I was a um, exchange student in Spain. I got a three month unlimited URL pass and there was no cell phone back then. There was no iPad. So I just had a lot of time to myself and I would write in my journal. And I found a journal of mine from that era, not that long ago, a couple of years ago now. And in that journal, I was 20 years old. I'm gonna be 40 in March. At 20, I was talking about wanting to have children then. Thank God I did not have it then. I am in a much better place now. And I think also, and this might come across in a bad way to some people, I think I wanted to have children on my own without a partner. Well, that's at least what I tell myself because I don't have one and I haven't been in a long-term relationship in like a decade. Um, I think I wanted to have kids on my own because I take being a dad so seriously. And 
I don't want to have to worry and I don't have to worry about, oh, if we break up, splitting kids back and forth and shared custody and four days there and three days here. I think if a parent had a choice to have a child have a stable upbringing in one house with you know their main caregiver there, that that's what a parent would choose. Um, and I would love to have a partner in the future. They would know that they could totally and will happily, I would love for that person who would be amazing to play a part in my kid's life. But if we were to break up, you're not getting custody. I'll of course let you see them, but there will be no legal paperwork that says, oh, you have to, you have them for four days, three days, whatever. Um, yeah, I love having kids. I love my kids. I take it so seriously. I have fun with them. I learn. I would love to have more, but I don't think I can afford that. I'm being real, real honest. And I think also one of the reasons I wanted to have three, and I knew that, I knew that I needed to have more than just two, is because I don't really have a big family. I mean, most of my relatives, distant relatives and cousins and everybody lives in Miami. And here in Los Angeles, I don't have family outside of my mom and my sister. And my sister doesn't have kids. There's no cousins for them. So I wanted my son and my daughter to have another sibling so they could have each other for the rest of their lives. And God forbid something happened to me that, you know, they they have they have more than just one other person that they can rely on forever. And also, you know, this is not going to happen. But, you know, these are the kinds of thoughts that I have. I don't know if it's a common thought for many parents. But, you know, let's say I have two kids. One of them could be a fuck up. And the other one could just be very average. But if I have three kids, one could be a mess up. One could be very average. And the other one will be just my golden child. But I think all three of my kids will be golden children. They already are. My son is a sweetheart. My daughter is super sassy and a spoonful of sugar. And Maite is just an old soul. So we're having a lot of fun around here. Um, I really would love to lend my voice even more, as I said at the beginning, to advocating for surrogacy. And hopefully I can be more involved in that. Um, showing up to Washington DC, whatever I can do, because I want to help other families like mine that want to go down this path to fulfill their dreams as well. So thank you guys for watching. This is a bit of a longer video. I appreciate you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit like, leave a comment below. And if you haven't done so already and you're not, follow me and share this video, of course. Bye.